Hi guys, this is a review of the Lasith Thunderbolt series external RAID hard drive. This is part of Lasith's Thunderbolt range and uses two hard drives which can be configured as RAID 0 or RAID 1. It has dual Thunderbolt ports for daisy chaining devices and it uses 7200 RPM drives. It comes with the Thunderbolt cable and this is the 6 terabyte version. So this is the drive itself, completely aluminium. Uh, it is quite heavy, I didn't weigh it, but it's actually quite difficult to lift this drive up with one hand. On the back of the drive at the top, we can see the vents for the internal fan. The Lassie Designed by Neil Poulton logo, two Thunderbolt ports and the two drive bays. The drive bays are very easy to open, you can just use a key or a coin to turn the latch and then the drive slides out. As you can see, these drives are Seagate Barracuda 3 terabyte drives, which are 7200 RPM. Very fast drives. And it's just as easy to put the drives back in. You just push them back in until they click into place and then turn the latch to the closed position again. On the bottom of the drive is a stand which has four rubber feet to keep the drive stable. The drive is very easy to set up, it's just a matter of plugging in the power cable, then plugging in the included Thunderbolt cable to one of the two Thunderbolt ports, it doesn't matter which one, and then plug in the other end of the Thunderbolt cable into the Thunderbolt port on your Mac. Once the drive is plugged in, the blue light on the front of the drive comes on and the drive is mounted as a 6 terabyte drive. In my case, I've got 5.4 terabytes because I've been using this drive for a couple of weeks and I have some files on there already. So looking at disk utility, the drive comes pre-configured as a striped RAID array, which is the best for performance and size, but you can reconfigure it in disk utility as RAID 1 if you prefer. So onto the speed tests now. First of all, I'm going to run Blackmagic Disk Speed Test from the App Store. And the write speeds I'm getting from this drive are around about 335 megabytes per second, going up to 340. And the read speed slightly faster, around 380, 375 megabytes per second. I left this speed test going for a while and the average after a few minutes was around 362 megabytes per second write and 375 megabytes per second read speed. I'm also going to run AJA system test to test the speed of the drive and with a 2 gigabyte file size the write speed again around about 360 megabytes per second and the read speed around 370 megabytes per second. Now for a real world test I copied a 4 gigabyte file from a RAM disk onto the hard drive to test the write speed and that took 10.9 seconds which gives a write speed of about 375.7 megabytes per second. And to test the read speed, I copied the 4GB file back from the drive into RAM, and that took just 10.2 seconds, which gives a read speed of about 401.5 megabytes per second. So I've been using this drive for a couple of weeks now, and I've been extremely impressed with it. It's very solidly constructed, and both the read and write speeds are phenomenal for a rotational drive. If you want the best possible speeds from Thunderbolt, then perhaps you'd be better off going for the Lassie Little Big Disk, which uses dual SSDs, which I reviewed in a previous video. But if you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of that speed for the storage capacity that hard drives offer, I really couldn't recommend this drive highly enough. It's a fantastic drive. So that's it for this review. Thanks for watching.